Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a yes, no Q&A. I asked you guys on Twitter, no, did I? I asked you guys on Facebook and on Instagram if you had any questions to which I could answer by yes or no. You guys were quite curious about many different things, so I guess we'll try to answer as many as possible. Do you like to travel to America or South America? So that's a question that's been coming back a lot. So yes, definitely. Will you come to Serbia, please? Yes, it's definitely a plan. Someone asked me, are you happy with where you are in life? I think that's a very difficult question because the answer would definitely vary depending on the day and even depending on the time of the day you ask me that. Sometimes I feel like I'm really happy with where I am because I've been through things and I sort of, I suppose, succeeded in battling a few things and dealing with a few things that were not really pleasant. And I have, you know, a bachelor and I have almost two master degrees. Um, I have, you know, the... I have done a lot of things online that I'm really happy with. I've met many people. I've being always as kind as possible I believe and I've kept the important people in my life so I'd say yes but at the same time I sort of I wanted to write a book basically um, and I know my life is not over and I really didn't have the time this year to write as much as I wanted to um, so I should not be too harsh on myself, but yes, I wanted to write a book, I still want to write a book, it's been my dream for as long as I can remember and sometimes it's very disappointing and sometimes it's almost very, very depressing to know that I'm 24 and I haven't written a book. Would you like to do bungee jump? No. I'm so scared of anything related to heights, so no. Do you believe in supernatural things like spirits, ghosts, etc? Yes, I do. I don't necessarily believe in them as they are depicted in movies and stuff like that, but I definitely think there are spirits around and uh, ghosts, why not? Yeah, I'd say. Did you travel to every part of France and are you thinking to do so if you haven't? I haven't traveled to every part of France. No, actually I haven't seen a lot of friends. I'm a bit ashamed to say that, but apart from the southeast where I come from, which I've seen a bit of, and Paris and perhaps Burgundy, which is um, another area of France where I have some family members. I haven't seen anything of friends. Do you often do things to step out of your comfort zone? I'd like to say yes, but I will be honest and say no. I do not step out of my comfort zone really frequently. Mostly because it's not like I have many occasions to do so in my life. Because, you know, I focus a lot on studying, seeing my friends, traveling. I guess the only time I would be able to step out of my comfort zone is when I'm traveling. Have you read any Latin American literature? No, not really. I mean a few, but really not a lot. So if you have any recommendations, please feel free to let me know. Do you believe in soulmates? Do you think you can fall out of love? And do you think marriage is an overrated and outdated concept? So do I believe in soulmates? Yes, I think. Do you think you can fall out of love, obviously? Do you think marriage is an overrated, outdated concept? <sighs> that's, that's a bit of a tricky question. I guess, as it is now, yes. Like when the woman takes the name of the husband and having, traditionally having to split everything, I mean having to put everything in common rather, and just wearing those rings that tell the world, see, I'm belonging kind of to someone. Yes, I don't like that, but the act of celebrating love is beautiful. And do you feel like you're living the life that you want? <sighs> so no, the issue for me is more like, the question should not be do you feel like you're living the life that you want? It should be do you feel like you're living the lives that you want? The biggest issue for me has always been that I've been wanting to live several lives at the same time with several people at several different places, doing several jobs. I love the city, but I also love the countryside. I love being connected online and I would also love not being online at all. I would love, you know, traveling all the time and just nothing, no one, you know, I would be attached to. At the same time, I would really love the comfort of a house with someone that I could rely on and, you know, just cooking with that person and spending Sundays walking in the woods with our dogs and at the same time I want to be creative and at the same time I feel like being creative is a curse and I want to live for myself and at the same time I want to live for others so 
I want to be in Japan and I want to be in France and I want to be in Hungary and I want to be in the south of France with my family and I feel like I want to be independent somewhere else. So the issue for me is more like I want to leave everything at the same time and it's really really hard to process because it's really painful and that's something that weighs on me quite well daily honestly. Have you ever thought about moving up from Paris? Yes of course I don't really see myself living in Paris forever as much as I adore Paris. I believe in God yes i do i have a video up about god but it's quite old so if you want me to do a new one let me know why is better now than when you were a teenager mm, yes would you enjoy living off the grid <sighs> i don't know i guess maybe yes Maybe no. I know it's supposed to be a yes or no, but I go with maybe for that one. Do you enjoy cinema? Do you enjoy movies? I love movies, basically. I have a huge, huge interest for movies. I watch movies all the time. I love all sorts of weird and interesting films, so yeah. Do you believe in life after death or some form of reincarnation? Um, yes, I believe in life after death. I believe we reincarnate until we reach a state in which our mind is pure and almost sort of perfect and then we finally go to heaven. Would you ever marry someone from a different culture language? <laughs> yes, without any hesitation. Um, have you ever used Tinder or other similar app websites and how was it? To be completely honest with you, I really despise Tinder. I think it's bullshit and I think it's slightly sad. I don't have anything against dating websites as much as I feel like they kind of kill the magic but I understand them tinder for me is just basically you look at someone the picture is nice the picture is not nice it looks like for me it feels like we're completing we completely forget that we're individuals we lack respect and even self-respect in my opinion and I know that it's not a popular opinion because everyone's on tinder to me if I were to go on tinder it would be a very vain thing for me and it would be out of sincere boredom, vanity and emptiness and I don't want to offend anyone but those are my true feelings like I'm not judging people like in a scornful way I'm more like slightly sad for people that spend time on tinder because what kind of what are you expecting and how does it make you feel to just swap people and judge them based on their appearance and how does it make you feel to let others do that to you like we live in a society where we are so pressured to look good to do that to do that and we constantly hear people complain about that yet everyone is on tinder to me that doesn't really make sense have you ever kissed a boy uh yes i have have you ever accidentally eaten meat or any animal products since going vegan yes i have not meat but um i think i've had things that contain dairy have you ever had sui suicidal thoughts? Yes. Will you do a meetup in Paris one day? It would be amazing. Thank you. Perhaps. Let me know if you guys would like me to do a meetup. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys. And if you have any more questions, if you have any more suggestions for any video, please feel free to let me know and I will talk to you soon. Bye.